to do screws. Yeah. I'll get my pocket if I'm going to otherwise. So, as soon as I'm finished, I'll put my blades in the window. The reason why I have three swipes is when you've got thick mud and it's base, it'll just shrink back. Two swipe that little bubble there won't shrink back, so you'll later have to scrape that off. Yep. Instead, if you just three swipe it, it stops it, like it goes underneath just so you don't have to scrape it. Yep. Or, or you can two swipe, but you've got to keep it open a little bit more and a little bit slower, and you can negate the swipe. It seems to do the same effect, and I do that for some part of swap around, but. Uh, I feel like I'm just not to this almost always does so you don't have to worry about it, you can just go. Yeah. Well, you almost have to pay attention when you do the two swap. Yeah. When you two swap, you almost want to open it up. If you, if you keep it parallel with it, like down here, it, it just doesn't move. So you can two swap. You can also two swap if you have Runya Mutt, Runya even Base, or if you're using like a taken, a, a premix. So it does the same effect, you just don't want to have to scrape them when you're trying to top. So that will, but that's probably because the board's pretty cracked. And even though I fill these, I'll fill them and then I'll push them in because it seems to keep them down because you've got base in that hole. Instead of just getting to it, pushing them first and then going over it. Yep. I, I just noticed when I go to top them, you very rarely get them to want to come back first where you have to start pushing them down again. So yeah, you can do it either way. Like this way you don't have to pay attention, you can just go. Another trick is, if they miss the timber, instead of having to pull it out, because they missed it, you can actually just fit it well into the board. And then when you fill it, um, it's, it's not going to come back out. So it's hard to unwind them if they're not in it. Yeah, you have to put your tools on the window and grab one from that way. Yeah. It's a bit annoying, you know. If it hangs down a little bit more, you can just grab them, but and then it pulls all the paper out. You've got to push it in anyway. Yeah. So I just pack them in, but I make sure they go deep. So the, but enough that you're not completely destroying the paper. It's just like dinting it. And because we use space as well, it doesn't really matter because the stuff goes rock hard. And get in there. You know, having fun up here. And we're using 90 mil corners, so it's a 4 inch, so it's 100 mil, so that's why I don't do the edge ones. So we'll yep. cover most of this, we'll cover it all, so that's the reason. Thank you. Yeah, you've actually got timber surrounding it, but I do it anyway because you never know. I'm stuffed up here, so I'll have to take that later. Sometimes they're pretty good, and then sometimes they miss. You like the skirting? And it just goes in the middle, so we just have to fill the recess and off to tape it. It's like yeah. an extension joint, but yeah. cheap way, so you don't have to install the plastic, you just slap on the thing up. Why don't we like swipe um, across? It's almost just pointless, there's so much distance because we only have two screws on the ceiling. It's just really not like the states where they're yeah, every well, once you get whatever. three, four, yeah, all right, that's fair enough. Like when you do yeah. outside patios, you have to put more because of the elements. Yeah. But here, yeah, yeah. like it's just no, no point. It's no, no quicker. And then if you're using base, you don't really want to have to three swipe over such a long span. But if you're if you're not, then fair enough. Two swipes will shrink back. It's easier for the new guys to learn. 
just to finish a small little six inch round. Yeah. Compared to that kind of like that and then making sure there's enough mud on it. Like you could just get it to do a plenty more coats and it won't matter, but here in Australia, yeah, it kind of seems to like the single screws. Even builders and I don't know why, but you should really just be sending it all the way back down to flat anyway, so it yeah. shouldn't really matter what you do as long as it's flat. Think someone commented on one of your ceilings you did, where you replaced the ceiling with glossy tiles, and they commented about how big your screws are. <laughs> It's, yeah, I made a joke the other day. Yeah, actually. Like, it's not like it matters because it's just popping and it's such an easy thing to stand. Yeah, I did a bathroom ceiling the other day and I topped a screw with like a 10 inch or something. <laughs> yeah, like if you don't have the floor, you're not going to go 10 inch. No. What's the matter? Especially with such a small ceiling. Now, if you were to do like a massive job there and if you're not sending your work, the person sending it's not going to like you, but yeah. even sending your own. You won't want to send it 10 inches wide, but it was what, like 10 screws? Do you use a bow sander when you do that sort of stuff? Uh, it depends. Like a small bathroom ceiling, nah. But um, maybe a garage. Anything more than a garage, we will. Yeah. If you hook it up to a vacuum? Yeah. yeah. And that's doing screws with Andre. Yeah. This, this gets uh, installed before everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see it across the road, the ones that are well before the fire check already installed, the red walls in the yeah. garage there. It's already on much, much earlier. And you can probably see they've got villa board behind that, and up and behind that again is another frame and insulation. It's just like a double the standard here, I guess. And then they also, you see a lot of they fire and sound silicon. Oh, yeah. The yeah, we just base the screws, even though they're hanging out, we just put some mud over it. Yep. And that's it, the skirting guard comes in later. Just all has to be sealed. And there's no glue, that's why there's so many screws, and that board's a lot heavier as well. Yep. That's why the states, they don't use glue, because they're not allowed to use glue in fire. Yeah, and fire right yeah, that's yep. And I think they have to fireproof every room. Yeah, that's why they have to take it. I think it's like a 30 minute fireproofing. Yeah. That's what I heard somewhere in the comments, but I'm not exactly sure. Someone can it. comment in the comments section if they know the deal. Yeah. But yeah, I learned that. I think, yeah, they call it like I learned a lot through my comments. 
yeah, they say you got to take them regardless, even if they're putting their version of crown, like yeah. crown molding up. You still got to. This is this is our crown molding. So basically, Australia is the most efficient way for papers. Yeah, for sure. Very fast. Oh, what do we got here? New video alert. This is my new toy. Full review coming up. This is my new toy. Oh, unboxing. I've been using it for about a week now. Milwaukee, get in touch with DJ. <laughs> yeah, give me free shit. <laughs>